All right, here with Lansdowne head basketball coach Dwight Robinson, his stepson Donald Han Jr. signing his letter of intent today with Boston College to play in the ACC. Hard to believe this day has come, coach, after watching this guy that was a little youngster out there with all the big kids about seven, eight, nine, ten years ago now getting a chance to put the next level. Got to be sweet for you and your family. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, but uh, he's been working extremely hard, um, you know, to kind of be like the underdog kind of kid and uh, to become the kind of player that he is now. Um, honestly, when he was younger, he always wasn't the guy, um, but he worked his butt off to become the guy. So we're, we're just so proud of his work ethics and, you know, having an opportunity to get an education at such a great university um, as Boston College and be able to play in the ACC at the highest level. Sure. You've had a lot of great guards over the years, the Stanley Pringles, the Reggie Williams, who's here, Julian Northwood and others. How is he similar and different from some of those other guys you've had going to the Division One level? Well, one, he's so much bigger than all of them. Sure. Um, and then, you know, he shoots it like, you know, Julian. He hounds it like Reggie. Um, he's got a quick first step like Stanley. Um, now, he's not as fast as Stanley, but, you know, he has a little bit of all those attributes. And, and one of the things is that he was able to watch all those guys play here, mm -hmm. uh, which, is, which is awesome. And so he knows how great the guards have been here at Lansdowne. Um, and, you know, like I said, he's like the fastest kid to 1,000 points. Um, here at this building, and he'll probably wind up leaving as the all-time lead scorer. You know, Mike Christmas is the all-time lead scorer right now. Sure. Um, but, you know, you're just so proud of him after after just watching him develop it over time. And now he's filling out, and his athleticism is kicking in right now. Still only 17. Sure. Um, and so we're just excited to see what's going to happen with him down the road. During this whole recruiting process, and he's a pretty smart kid, what advice did you, Donald Senior, your wife, give him? Because I think a lot of people early on figured, well, he's going to be a slam dunk to UVA because Pops went there, and that, did not be, that was not the case ultimately. Well, you ultimately have to go where you fit mm -hmm. and where you feel comfortable. And, um, you know, that's the most important thing. Uh, he felt comfortable with the staff there at BC. Uh, he really didn't worry about what the team's record was and that kind of thing. That wasn't the most important thing for him. It was where can he, who does he feel comfortable with? Where does he feel like he'll go and flourish, mm -hmm. uh, both academically and athletically? Um, and what can he call home for the next four years of his life? And know that he's gonna get better every single year and be a major cog of what they do. Mm -hmm. Last two, what point did you kind of know it was BC? Um, it, it, it was kind of up in the air, um, but, you know, when he got on the visit, it kind of sealed it. Uh, he kind of knew. We had a discussion the day before, mm -hmm. and then, um, you know, we just talked about the pros and cons of every university that he had visited at that point in time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he kind of was ready to commit, and so we, like, sleep on it. And then before we left, uh, he was – he was kind of sold on BC at that point. Mm -hmm. You got another long youngster coming up who's your son. He's in what grade? Uh, he's in six. Tell me about, I guess, with, with him watching DJ now, what kind of inspiration that is for him as you guys try to make this two state championships in his high school career before he goes up to college, freshman year, senior year, and what that serves for all the young kids as well, not just your own son, but the ones coming up to see what he's doing in this crew now. Well, for sure. One thing that DJ's had the opportunity to do over the over the last like um, probably 12 months, he's done a lot of camps, um, and he's primarily with the Norfolk Titans because that's where his younger brother plays. So he's done quite a few camps with them. So he's around a lot of the that age group right now. So those guys kind of look up to him as a mentor. Um, in terms of Damian, Damian just kind of soaks up everything, um, everything DJ does, uh, his work ethic, wanting to get in the gym, um, you know, his confidence. Uh, Dame's a little bit more vocal, though. Uh, <laughs> but Dame doesn't shy away from the moment. And I, I think Dame expects to, you know, kind of follow in his footsteps. Um, not that we put the pressure on him to do that, but if you know Dame, you know that he's a competitor. Um, and a lot has to do with DJ pushing them, not, you know, not being soft on them, but make, making sure that if he's going to do it, he's going to do it 100%. So... Uh, we're looking forward to Damien, but we're definitely looking forward to this, this school year, this basketball season, to see what we can do.
Thanks so much. We'll see you in a few weeks when you guys tip it off. Yes, sir. Thank you.